in the 90s, after I'd come to BYU, I started experimenting with uh, ways to sing vowels more efficiently. P uh, came up with the system called, but I called vowel equalization, and tested it on my students and liked the results. And so I proposed that we take a closer look at vowel equalization and see if we could tweak out what actually was going on when vowel equalization happened. Yay, 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 yay. What's, what's your perception of that? It's more in the front and it doesn't take as much effort. To be clear about what vowel equalization really means, it has to do with efficient yeah, behavior yeah, yeah, between yeah, one yeah, vowel yeah, and yeah. another. Yeah, 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 yeah. With the vowel equalization, the tongue was more efficient in its movement. It went back and forth less. It moved quickly from one vowel to the other with a minimum of extraneous movement. And the postures weren't as exaggerated. As a result of that, it was easy to get quickly between those. Most recently, I thought that they would have a real application in overcoming uh, accent differences between languages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, can, you can start to sound more like a native speaker almost immediately by making sure that the vowels sit in the right place, as compared to So this little experiment that we're running, which is, was born in teaching singing, actually has an application to foreign language study, to public speaking. Um, that, those are the places where it, it's most readily applicable.